channel or welcome to my channel if you are new my name is Abby and I am on a health and fitness journey it feels like it's been a bit since I've sat down and talked to the camera because I didn't post over the holidays probably like a lot of other youtubers that you watch because I know that's happened to me and my subscription feed has been a bit boring so for that I'm sorry but I hope everyone enjoyed the holidays with their family and I hope you're gonna have a great New Year's Eve and a safe New Year's Eve. I sat down and did my makeup because I've been watching a lot of Get Ready With Me's and I have a ton of eye makeup that I never use but I'm literally just staying in my apartment tonight and like a handful of friends are coming over so appreciate this. I figured I would just kind of make an update video for you guys let you know some of my resolutions my goals for 2018 and also let you know what to expect on this channel. So first, let's get into my eight resolutions for 2018. So some of these are going to be fitness related, some of them are just life related. Just hang in there with me. My first resolution is to commit to a skincare routine. Um, I just got a new package from First Aid Beauty of like a little set and I've been using it, I really like it, but I just wanna find something that works for me and stick to it morning and night. Number two, is to get three to four hours of effective practice every day. And I wanna do that in two sessions, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. Three is to post two videos a week. So I've already gone through my new planner for this year and kind of mapped out the kinds of videos I wanna upload and when I want to upload. And I'm going to basically do a weigh-in every other week. I've decided that I wanna step away from the scale a little bit and then it'll rotate between kind of daily vlogs, work out with me, meal prep with me, things like that. But I am going to be uploading on Wednesdays and Sundays. Number four is to start every morning with a liter of lemon water. It really helps with my skin and my digestion and it's something that I really want to commit to doing. I kind of fall into doing it for a while and fall out of it and back and forth, so. Number five is to actually use my planner farther than January. I always get one and I start out really strong planning everything and I feel great and on top of things and then slowly when things start building up I stop using my planner because it feels like another thing to do. So I want to teach myself to use it as a tool and not an extra step that I need to take to get things done. Number six is a big one fitness wise and that is to not go more than two days without working out. Now I've set goals in Fitbit to work out this many days a week or whatever and that usually works for me but I kind of want to make this type of goal when it comes to how many workouts a week so that I'm in the routine of going to the gym and it kind of forces me to want to go because I know it makes me feel better. Number seven is to be more financially aware. I've been fine at paying my bills and all of that and blah 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 um, but I want to 
know what's going into my bank account, when it's coming out, so on and so forth. Get track of all my bills that are on auto pay and things like that. So just to be more aware of my monies. And my last resolution for 2018 is to take time to decompress and live in the moment. Now, just this past semester and like in the summer, I was doing better at just taking in experiences and being able to take a breath, but uh, it's something that I still wanna keep working on. Stress has been a big factor um, in my skin and why the lower half of my face has been breaking out and it just doesn't make for a fun life. So I really wanna kind of recommit to just taking a step back and calming down. Yeah. So those are my eight resolutions, goals, whatever you wanna call them for 2018. I really wanted to make these achievable things, not just vague statements like change your lifestyle, like be healthier, work out. I really wanted them to be attainable and physically achievable goals. So uh, from a teacher standpoint, when you make lesson plans, you have to use verbs and adjectives that you can physically see. Um, so I really encourage you to write down your own goals with in ways that you can actually see them happening. Like I wrote mine all down in my phone so I can refer back to them. I'm gonna write them in my planner and just map out what you wanna get done this year. Um, I haven't always done this in the past, but since I've been on this journey, having a trajectory of where I wanna go has really helped me succeed and achieve things. So yeah, um, so I will see you guys Next time, probably with a weigh-in, have a diet bet coming up, uh, but I definitely want to do some vlogging of my more of my workouts and that stuff. But I really want to hear from you guys too. Please comment down below some of your goals or resolutions for 2018. Um, if you're not already, follow me on Instagram. It's abgetfab, abgetsfab. I'll link it below. Um, and it's been really fun interacting with people on there that aren't even following me on YouTube. Talk to me and we can encourage each other and go into 2018 really strong and have a great year. Thanks for watching guys, bye.